I, Ruchi Gupta, working as an assistant professor, Department of Pharmacology in Smriti College of Pharmaceutical Education, Indore. In last video lecture, we have discussed about the introduction of documents, periodoids, and synonym, biological source, geographical source, and chemical component of taxon drug. In today's video session, we are going to discuss about the chemical structure, mechanism of action, analysis, chemical test, commercial and industrial application of taxon drug. So let us start with the chemical structure of taxon. This is the basic structure of taxon. This is hydroxy group. Hydroxy group may be passivized, ethanized or removed. Then its activity can reduce or not significantly affected. But some derivative has improved activity. Then this is oxygen or cyclohopin moiety or ring which are required for the activity. When it is substituted by sulfur group, then its activity get reduces. Then this is acetyl group. When if we remove this acetyl group, then its activity gets reduces. Then it is replaced by another group or any any other group that can increase the activity. This is acyl oxy group which are essential for the activity. Certain alkynyl and substituted aromatic group will improve the activity. This is hydroxyl group which are helpful for the activity but it is most essential for the activity. This is free hydroxyl group or hydro or a hydrohydrogen ester. They are of required. This is phenyl group. This group may be changed to alkynyl or substituted by phenyl group. Then some group give improve the activity. This is an acyl group is required for the activity, but some acyl analogs have improved activity. This is acetyl or acetoxy group may be removed without loss of significant activity. But some acyl analogs have improved activity. When, when the reduction takes place at this position, the activity decreases slightly. That means this is another case in which microfigure shrink pedicaxol blocks this this. <coughs> Extraction and the isolation of petri texon. We will take a stem part of texture spreading folia by using methanol as a solvent. If the extraction process is done, then it is evaporated. By doing evaporation, we can get concentrated methanolic extract. This concentrated methanolic extract is treated with chlorinated solvent and water. It is separated into two parts. First, water layer, second, chlorinated solvent layer. Water layer is treated with ethyl acetate, then it is concentrated. It is contained tax on glycoside. Chlorinated solvent layer is evaporated and treated with acetone. Non-polar impurities are precipitated in acetone. After that, it is evaporated to one third of the starting volume. Petrinexone and related taxon are precipitated. Then it is filtered. Filtering contains impurities and low polar taxons. Petrinexone and related taxons. 
section. This precipitate undergoes fresh chromatography on silica gel with acetone chlorinated solvent. So four fractions are obtained. First fraction contains low molar component. Then second fraction free packet exol component. Then packet exol cephalomelanin. Then post packet exol fractions. The next mechanism of action of pectinic taxol. It is lower the critical concentration for tubulin polymerization and reversibly bind to tubulin prohibited depolarization. Okay, so binds to the end terminal region of beta tubulin and promote the formation of highly stable micro tubules. Then resist depolarization. This prevents the normal cell division and arresting the cell cycle at the G2 end phase. That is a disassembly of micro tubules that result prevent the mitosis. Peclet axon analyzed by thin layer chromatography in which Silica gel G used as a stationary phase and chloroform methanol in 7 to 1 ratio is used as a mobile phase. Anisamide sulfuric acid reagent and vanillin sulfuric acid reagent, both reagent is used are used as a spinning reagent. Pharmacological uses of peclet axon, it is used as a treatment of breast cancer, ovarian, lungs, bladder, prostate cancer, esophageal cancer, melanoma. It is also used in all types of solid tumor cancer. It is also used in the treatment of AIDS related Kaposi sarcoma.